Hi there, this is Amir again from simpletech.ca and we're going to continue from our first video we created where we looked at Microsoft Word Office 2003 and we learned how to enter things in Word, how to use backspace, delete, when you type a line you don't press enter un unless you want to start a new paragraph. We also looked at how to save a file and how to create folders. So we'll continue on and we'll use the same file so I can show you how to open a file that you had already used earlier. You can click on this button up here to open it. You can also go to file and usually you'll see it right here on the bottom the last file you used it should be there. You can click there or you can click on open. It opens in my documents. That is where our folder is and then in there there's a folder called practicing word and I can double click on it and right there is my file basic word one I can double click there or I can click open here once I select it so this is the file that I had typed earlier now in this video I'll show you how to select things how you can use selection and deleting stuff and we we'll look also look at formatting things which is what word is very popular for Whenever you want to do something, you always have to select it in Word. If you don't select something, Microsoft Word has no clue what are you trying to change. So selection is a very important tool in Microsoft Word and you can use selection anywhere. You can use it to do a lot of different things on the internet, any other programs that you use. So if you want to select something, say for example, I want to select my first and last name. So I can bring my mouse right in front and when I get the thin air, I left click on my mouse and I hold the left click and I just drag the mouse over it. Now I can even continue to dragging it down, it will select everything or I can just drag it up to there and I leave it. So right there I leave the mouse. Again I'll just select city and the province which is Ontario, left click and hold it and I just drag it over. Make sure you keep the left click holding down as you drag the mouse over it and then you can leave it. I can come here down, again bring your mouse in front. Don't try to use this arrow for now, just try to use it by using that thin line. Left click and hold it, go across and then come down. So now you select it, everything. Now be careful when you do these things because you might hit a button on the keyboard and things will disappear. Like for example now, I pressed a button on the keyboard, the alphabet A. Because it was selected, the word A overwrites everything. So you have to be careful about it. But no worry, if you ever come across that problem in Microsoft Word, there is a button on the toolbar called the undo button. It is your savior. Right here, this button right here, you see it says undo typing, right there, undo. You can also go to edit and then undo. So I'm just going to click on the undo button and everything comes back. So make sure you just click somewhere so that it is no longer selected. Avast Virus Database has been updated. Now let's look at cutting, copying and pasting. And we'll look at what they mean. So anytime you have to do any cutting, copying or pasting, you have to always select. So let's see, I'm going to go ahead and select these three lines. And I'm going to click on copy. So you can either go here, you see the copy button. Microsoft is really good in this way and most programs are that when you point to a button it will tell you what it does. So I'm going to click copy. Now you need to decide where is it that you want to paste it. So you click somewhere, you want to click paste it here, you want to paste it here or somewhere else, wherever you decide. So I'll click here and I want to paste it at this point. So I'm going to come up here and click paste. So I've got an exact copy by using copying and pasting. Let's look at cut and paste and see what it does. I'm going to go ahead and select all of this information, the name and the address, and I'm going to use cut. It's the scissor. Nice way of doing it. Nice symbol. Cut. I'm going to cut it. So when I cut it, you see that information is gone completely. And now if I come here and I click here and I hit paste, so I've actually deleted the information from the top and I brought it to the bottom. 
copying and pasting will leave the original information there and also paste it again. Cut and paste will remove the original information and only put it in the new place. So that is the difference between copying and pasting. Now if I want to undo, I can just click on the undo button one time, another time. You can do undo a lot of times. I don't recommend it. Just use it the last few times because then you will not know what you are undoing because it will try to remember all the steps that you've done since you opened this file today. Not from yesterday, but every actions that you've done today. So you can undo a lot of different things. And I can do undo one more time and it will remove that or I can do forward undo and it brings it back. So we looked at selection, which is just selecting like that. You can also just come over any paragraph and you can do three clicks on any word in that paragraph. So I can do left click, one, two, three. The whole paragraph is selected. One, two, three. I can also click two times, one, two. It only selects a word. But you'll, once you get used to using left clicking and selecting it, you won't go back to using anything else. I can do the same thing here, one, two, three. Because you see, I pressed enter at the end, so it's only one line is a paragraph. Up here, all three lines are paragraph. And then again, cutting, copying, and pasting. You select what you want to copy. You can either use these toolbars here, or you can go edit, and then cut, and then select a new place, and then you can paste here, or edit, and paste. I can even do undo again. So again, anytime you make a mistake, don't worry. You don't have to worry about it. You can just hit the undo button. Now let's do some little bit fun stuff. So we'll look at what is known as formatting. So at any time you have to do any formatting means you want to change things. You want to make something big. You want to change the design of it. You have to select because the computer is not psychic to know what you are trying to do. So select the name. Now you can choose what size you want. You can increase the size, say 24. Just make the size bigger. I can make it 48. I can select again. I can make it bold. So you see it's kind of become darker, bold. If I press the B again, it turns it off. So it's like you press it, turns on, press it, turns off. I select it again. I can make it italic. So now it's kind of slant. It's called italic. I can select it again, turn italic off. I can hit U for underline, so now there is a line underneath it. I can select it again, turn it off. I can select it and press bold, italic, underline, all at the same time. I can do that. Select it again, turn it off. And right here up here it says Times New Roman. It's known as the font. I can even click on it and I can choose a different font. So for example, I can choose, let's see, let's do this one. So you see, it's a different font now. I can choose it again. And I can look for, let's see, there are some interesting ones. Um, I can just go back and even pick anything else it's a different font so this is changing the fonts now if I want this section up here is known as a style which are predefined so I can just go back here and I can click on normal and it goes back to being Times New Roman 12 the normal style is what usually shows up when you start Microsoft Office 2003 and it's usually Times New Roman 12 and nothing else Let's look at alignment. So I can select my name, and if you follow my mouse, you see up here it says left alignment and how it is pressed in. So right now, it's on the left hand side. I can bring it to the center. I can bring it to the right. If I want, I can bring it back to the left. I'll just talk briefly about justify. What it does is, I'm just going to select these two paragraphs, and when I hit the justify button, watch what happens at the end, like at the end of the lines, 
uh, justified. You see how it is all lined up nicely? I'm just gonna hit the undo button one time. And you see right now Toronto ends here and the music ends here. If I hit justify, it puts the spaces in the middle and it makes it looks nice. So if you look at any of your magazine or books, you'll find that they have been, like I call it, ironed out. Like there is no creases on it. It's all crisp and nice. I think we'll end this video at this point. And let me just review what we did today. In this video, we looked at how to select. You just bring your mouse close to it and you select. We also looked at cutting, copying, and pasting. We also looked at how you can select anything and you can change the size, make it bold, italic, underline. You can change the font. And if you want it, you can always bring it back by going to style and choosing normal. You can also change the alignment. You can have it left align, center, align right. We also looked at justify. And you can also select everything and you can put it in the center. And you can select a lot of things and you can also change the size. So it doesn't matter how much you select. And you can always hit the undo button to change it.